Do you know how the JDM culture came into being? The fascinating world of Japanese imported cars has a rich history that has captivated auto enthusiasts worldwide for decades. The late 80s and 90s marked the birth of the JDM movement in the USA. Cars like the legendary Honda CRX and iconic Toyota Supra captured enthusiasts' attention, igniting a passion for Japanese imports. With the rise of the internet and tuning magazines, the scene experienced a surge. Enthusiasts exchanged ideas, discussed mods, and transformed their vehicles into unique rolling pieces of art. The release of the 2001 film, The Fast and the Furious, propelled JDM culture into the mainstream, but also attracted a wave of newcomers with little knowledge about cars. This shifted the scene and brought it into the limelight. After the events of 9-11 and increased law enforcement targeting illegal racing, the car scene shifted its focus to sleeper cars, vehicles that looked ordinary but packed powerful performance, allowing them to operate stealthily without drawing attention. Today we celebrate JDM culture through car meets and stance builds where enthusiasts share their love for cars without engaging in illegal street races. However, the prices of JDM cars and parts have skyrocketed, posing new challenges for the scene. The JDM culture remains a vibrant community of car enthusiasts sharing their passion for unique vehicles. We are part of a captivating history and an ever-evolving culture. What are your thoughts on the future of the JDM scene? Share your opinions in the comments and your fondest memories of JDM culture. Don't forget to subscribe for more on this exciting automotive world.